Hey guys, G Shadow 7 here bringing you an Xbox 360 collection video. And as you can see here, I have a shit ton of games to talk about. So this is obviously going to be longer than my PS3 collection video. So without further ado, let's go over here and start talking about the games. I'll start off by talking about Armored Core 4. I thought Armored Core 4 was a solid game. I loved the music. The music was kick-ass. The gameplay was pretty solid for a mech game, and I love the customization. That's always a great thing about Armored Core, is the, being able to customize your mechs to kick ass in. So, for what it was, I thought Armored Core 4 was a solid game. Next up is Armored Core for Answer, my personal favorite Armored Core game in the series. It's basically Armored Core 4, but better. It has all the content from Armored Core 4, but more. You know, what if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I highly recommend this game if you are a die-hard mech fan or a mech anime fan. It's really good. It's very hard to find in stores nowadays. I got mine at a GameStop about four years ago, so I was one of the lucky ones, but nowadays your best luck is eBay or Amazon. But it's worth it though. It's a really awesome game. Assassin's Creed 2. I played the first game a couple months back and I thought it was meh. It was mediocre to me. Second game, however, was a lot better. I really do like this game. It's my favorite. It's my favorite in the Assassin's Creed series. Gameplay was solid. Uh, the story I thought was pretty good. And yeah, it was just a really good game to me. I thought Assassin's Creed 2 was a really good game. Battlefield Bad Company. Pretty underrated game. I thought the campaign was very charming, very humorous, very fun. It's very fun filled. It's just an awesome campaign to me. The multiplayer, I will admit, was forgettable. I didn't really care for it that much. So, uh, if you were to get this game, I, I would get it for the, mul for the campaign. Almost said multiplayer. <laughs> <coughs> Battlefield Bad Company 2. A lot better than the first game. The multiplayer was fucking awesome in this game. It is solid. The campaign was also solid. So, yeah, obviously the better of the two games. So, if you're ever to pick one, I would pick Bad Company 2. Bad Company 2 was an awesome game. Battlefield 3, my favorite in the Battlefield franchise. I love the multiplayer in this game. Multiplayer, fucking awesome. Single player was disappointing because they went the linear Call of Duty route as opposed to the open world explosive balls of the walls route like they did with the previous two games. So, Battlefield 3 though, I thought for the multiplayer, the multiplayer was really good. It was good enough to overshadow the single player. Battlefield 4... The campaign was a lot better than 3, but the multiplayer servers are garbage. And it's a shame too, because I thought the multiplayer was pretty good. It's just the servers are garbage. You know, every single... I mean, for the most part, I crash all the time. So that's why I don't really play this game that much. Because it crashes. I'm not sure what it's like on the other consoles or the PC version. But on a 360 version, the servers are god-awful. And I checked a couple months ago, and uh, it still didn't work, so I guarantee with all the patches fixed and still didn't work so I guarantee you it still doesn't work today so that sucks Batman Arkham City best Batman game ever made it's basically uh, very similar to Arkham Asylum in terms of gameplay in terms of gameplay but the content is bigger broader and larger so I highly recommend getting this game if you are a Batman fan or a comic book fan it's just a really really good game Tomb Raider. This is my first Tomb Raider ever. I have never touched the other games. This is my first one. And I thought it was really good, you know. The gameplay is rather similar to Uncharted, though that's not really much a surprise since Uncharted was heavily inspired by Tomb Raider. So, yeah, I thought Tomb Raider, the reboot game, was pretty good. Bioshock. One of the best games ever made to me, one of my all-time favorite games, I love this game. The gunplay, awesome. Atmosphere, creepy, very creepy and awesome. It's just a fun game. I highly recommend anybody who owns a 360 or a PS3 or whatever. This is an essential game to me. This is a game that you just have to play before you die. It is fucking good. The second game, the gunplay is better than the first, but... The story was confusing as fuck. Is it a prequel or a sequel? Yeah, it's just, the story was bleh. Bioshock Infinity. I love the story the most in this game. I thought the story was really good. Gunplay. Fucking brilliant. I love the gunplay. And I just love the creative aspect of Bioshock Infinity. Really great game. 
Also, the only reason why I wouldn't like this more than the first game is because I thought the first game's atmosphere and whatnot. There's just some things about the first game I like a bit more than Infinity. Maybe it's probably due to nostalgia reasons. Blue Dragon. I have a love-hate relationship with this game. On one hand, I think the visuals are pretty good. You know, I thought... I will give it credit for trying to... Go back to basics in terms of RPGs. Being more basic and essential and stuff like that. But I just felt it didn't really work here. I thought the game felt rather repetitive. The story was okay. It's just I didn't like the gameplay all that much. I thought... It was rather outdated. I get what they were trying to go for, but even then, I didn't really like it that much. Borderlands. Pretty solid game. I like how you were able to get all these shit, a shit ton of guns. I like the content that's in the game. And I do like how you can play as different characters and have your own customizable build for each of the characters. I thought it was pretty good. So, I thought Borderlands 1 was a pretty solid game. Borderlands 2, way better. Way better. Uh, I thought the gunplay was better. It was much more improved. I thought everything about this game was so much better than the, orig than the original. So if I were to pick one to play, I would pick Borderlands 2. And the best part is you don't even have to play this, the first game to know the story if you're one of those people that are story driven. Dark Souls. One of the hardest games of this genera of last generation. I can't say this generation because... Uh, <laughs> <coughs> of Xbox One and stuff, but definitely one of the hardest games of last generation. It was creepy, it was just freaking balls to the wall difficult, and I love it. <laughs> uh, really, it's one of those essential games that you just have to own, you just have to play. You know, it doesn't matter if you don't finish it or not, you just have to play Dark Souls. It's just one of those games that you have to play before you die. Titanfall, I love this game. That's all that needs to be said. I just love this game. So creative, so fresh, so great, fast-paced, awesome game. Really awesome game. Tales of Asperia. Awesome JRPG. It was the game that got me into the Tales series, and especially into RPGs in general. I really do like this game. Uh, the combat is fast-paced, it's fresh, it's awesome. And the story is pretty good for the most part. And the music, oh my god, the music was great. So yeah. I highly recommend Tales of Asperia. It's a really solid JRPG. Gears of War 1. Do not worry, I did not pay 45 bucks for this thing. Honestly, I don't like this game that much. The campaign, it's, it's average, but the reason why I don't like it more is the AI is fucking retarded. And really, it's just not really that much fun. Multiplayer? If this game had a multiplayer, I don't even I don't even remember. That's how much I don't really care about this game that much. The first game to me, weakest in the series. I I, I just don't like it that much. Gears of War Two, pretty good game. Uh, I think it's a lot better than the first, but the multiplayer was just eh. I would recommend the campaign. Multiplayer, I would skip it. Gears of War 3, my favorite in the series. Um, the campaign was good. Multiplayer, huge improvement. Really love the improvement in the multiplayer. And Horde Mode and all that, really good. The second game had Horde Mode too, but not as fun. So yeah, I highly recommend getting Gears 3. It's a really good game. Gears of War Judgment, my... Uh, next to the first game, it's probably my least favorite. It's... Just, I don't, I don't know, I just don't like it that much. I don't like the changes to the multiplayer, and I thought the campaign was just, eh. Mass Effect. Okay, here we go. I love the Mass Effect trilogy. It is awesome. It is so great. I love the originality of it. It's just fucking amazing. Love this series. I love it. It's my favorite Western RPG ever. So with that said, let's start off with the first game. First game... The combat system wasn't the best in the world. I didn't really like the combat system all that much, but it was still pretty solid. The story was amazing. Oh my god. I really love how you can like choose what you have to say, choose the choices, your choice is yours. You know, this the story falls on your hands. That's what I love about the Mass Effect series. That you create your own story. You create your own relationships. It's such an awesome game. Second game. 
better than the better than the first, and it's my favorite in the series. Love this game. So much improvements. Combat is better. Uh, the characters are cool. Are really awesome. It's in this. Oh my god, the story is fucking brilliant in Mass Effect 2. Holy crap. Uh, it's just the story-driven powers are just so great in this game, and the ending. Holy crap, the ending is fucking everything about this game. I love it. <laughs> I'm speechless at how great I, how much I love this game. So yeah, I highly recommend Mass Effect 2. Highly recommend it. Even if you don't have the other games, I just just play this game. Play Mass Effect 2. It's awesome game. Mass Effect 3, the most polarizing of the bunch. Combat's the best in this game. Story was pretty good. Uh, the endings though, I just don't get why people are so batshit insane over the ending. I get it. You know, oh, the choices didn't matter in the end. It was all for nothing. But what about the journey to get to the end? Does that, does that like, all, does all the fun you had getting to the end just be notified because of the ending? I don't think it should be like that, you know? And I know that I shouldn't be talking about this in a question video, but personally, I think people shouldn't just judge the game because of the ending. You should judge the game as a whole, as the, ex the experience as a whole, not just judge it based off the ending, you know? That's just me. Doom 3, or rather the Doom question, since it has both Doom 1 and Doom 2. Doom 1 was a pretty good game. Doom 2, pretty good game. Doom 3, eh, it's okay. <laughs> Didn't really like it that much, though. Dead Island, it was okay. I didn't like the stamina system, though. I thought the stamina system was pretty bad. It was, but it was an okay game. Yeah, that's all I need to say. <laughs> As you can tell, I don't really have a lot of stuff to say because I've been rambling on and on and starting to run out of stuff to say. But, uh, Halo Combat Evolve Anniversary. I never played the original game, so I... <coughs> Ooh, shit, sorry. So, um, I tried this game out. Cause, you know, I always thought it was a cool idea to, like, bring out games that people would never play when they were younger and give them a chance to try it out. And I played Combat Evolve, and the campaign, I will say this, it's very memorable, very iconic. I did wish that the multiplayer was like the original, but we can't have all the things we want in the world. Um, so yeah, Halo Combat Evolve, it's a, it's a classic FPS, I will admit. It's, it's a classic, um, but definitely not a game for everybody. Halo 3, I thought the campaign was good, but the multiplayer... Yeah, <laughs> it's mediocre. The multiplayer was mediocre to me. Forge was good, but there were other. But the other two games I'm going to talk about next did it better. Halo Reach, my personal favorite Halo game ever. I love the multiplayer. I love the campaign. Campaign was awesome. The story in the campaign was good. It was really good. Multiplayer, huge improvement over three, and I love the Forge mode and all that. It was and Firefight. It was all a huge improvement compared to the third game. Halo 4. Uh, I like this game better than 3. Don't like it better than Reach. Uh, I thought the campaign was... It was okay. It was good. It was be Actually, it's better than Halo 3. I'll say that. It's better than the Halo 3 campaign. Which surprised me because I thought, holy crap. Uh, I didn't expect 3, 4, 3 to be that good at telling a story. But, you know, I thought the Halo 4 story was pretty good. Multiplayer was good. And that's very all I got to say about it. Sucks that firefight was taken out though. That kind of sucked. Skydom. Honestly, this is one of the most overrated games I have ever freaking played. It's not a bad game, but holy fuck, is it overrated? You know, there are glitches that goes on in the game, and while it did patch, and while they did patch it, some of the stuff in this game, it's still rather glitchy and and eh. <laughs> I didn't really like this game as much as like the people that are like heavy on this game, but I still I will admit that Skyrim was a good game. The Witcher 2: Assassins of Kings, awesome RPG. Really loved this game a lot. I just love I love this game. Uh, I highly recommend getting it. Really good game. Crisis 2. Campaign was solid. Multiplayer was eh. That's all I gotta say about Crisis 2. Rage, the first game, it's 
our ID software made in like a decade or something like that. Really good game though. Very great game. The story kind of sucks, but you know what? The gameplay was so good. The gunplay was so good that it didn't really matter to me. So yeah, Rage, really great game. Really creative for an FPS. Max Payne 3. Campaign was awesome. Multiplayer was iffy. Um, I did not play the other Max Payne games beforehand, so this is my first one, and I thought Max Payne 3 was great. It actually makes me want to play the other games now, which I'll probably do at some point. So going on over here. Dishonored. This was a pretty short game, but for what it was, it was really unique, really creative. So I thought Dishonored was a good game. Fallout 3. I'll be honest, I never really played this game that much. I know, shocking, because it's Fallout 3. I mean, one of the most highly uh, praised games ever. But honestly, I didn't really like Fallout 3 that much. That's, I don't know, it's just maybe not, just not my cup of tea. I personally think Skyrim is a bit better. Just my opinion. I'm not knocking Fallout 3, it's just, I guess it's just not my cup of tea. Transformers Fallout Cybertron. I did play War for Cybertron, but I only rented it. I did. I do own Fallout Cybertron, though. Fallout Cybertron, game I already talked about in my PS3 question video. I thought it was a really good game. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Honestly, this was a good game, but I wish it was the final product. Because the final product, Faded Two Worlds, was disappointing as all fuck. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was a lot better, but... Holy fuck, why do we need to create a whole new game just to get new characters on there? That made no sense to me. Come on, Capcom. Come on. Dynasty Warriors Gundam. <sighs> I'll be honest, I never really liked the Dynasty Warriors Gundam series. I always thought they were mediocre. First game, it was fun. I mean, it was cool seeing the cutscenes with all the, the Gundam characters interacting with one another. But outside from that, the gameplay was just meh. I do own the second game on the PS2, and the second game was fucking awful. It was fucking terrible. Uh, <laughs> that's just me, though. And for the third game, Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3. It's better than the second game, but the missions are repetitive as fuck. At least in the first and second game, they actually had, like, different stuff going on. What do I get in terms of gameplay for Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3? It's the same shit. Oh, you... Take down this field. Oh, you gotta conquer all the fields. Then, uh, an enemy, the main enemy shows up. You gotta beat the shit out of him and you win. Yes, there's, like, random stuff that goes on here and there in terms of the missions, but it's essentially the same shit, same idea, so, bleh. I didn't really, I didn't really like this game. The only thing this game has going for it was the content. There was a shit ton of characters to play as. But there was some really awkward stuff that bothered me. For example, Schwartz Bruder is in this game, but not Gundam Spiegel. So that makes no sense considering that they added Duo, Trace, and Troll and had all of their mobile suits, but not Schwartz. Bizarre. Sonic Generations. The first Sonic game I bought since Sonic Heroes, and that was over a decade ago. Holy fuck. <laughs> but I thought Sonic Generations was a good game. I thought it was a really good game. So yeah, it's probably the game that's going to get that... Honestly, got me back into Sonic, but since then, I uh, have slowly stopped, not cared about the franchise that much. <laughs> I've never really been a Sonic fan, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm not knocking the games, just, I don't know, Sonic is just not my cup of tea. SmackDown vs. Raw 11. The, uh, the last WWE game I bought since w before WWE 13, eh, it was okay. You know, looking back on it, I didn't think this game was all that great, but for a wrestling game, it was solid. Brink, fuck this game. Left 4 Dead, really great game. Really great co-op. Although, I think I personally think the PC version is better. Left 4 Dead 2, basically everything about the first game, that's great about the first game, but better. Walking Dead, phenomenal storytelling game that I honestly think is better than the TV series. Uh... But then again, maybe I'm wrong because I never really actually saw the TV series. So, yeah. The Orange Box. Uh, not much else to say here except that uh, Team Fortress 2 on the console version sucks balls. Never play Team Fortress 2 on consoles. Get the PC version. For fuck's sakes, folks, it's free. Do not resort to the console versions. Console version, bad. As for the other games, Portal, iconic game. Half-Life 2, iconic game. I have not touched upon Episode 1 or Episode 2 of Half-Life 2. So I can't really comment much about those two games. 
WWE All-Stars, underwhelming game. Zone of the Enders, HD question. This is a really fun mech game. It's short, yes, but it's pretty exhilarating. My only complaint is that it can be very annoying and very hard as fuck. But outside from that, I thought Zone of the Enders, both games were solid. Also comes with a demo that I never really gave a shit before. So that's pretty much it for my 360 question. Uh, shit, this went over 20 minutes. <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, with that being said, this is G Shadow 007. Catch you guys later.